As programmers, we strive never to repeat ourselves. In this video, I will show you how to apply that principle to trivial tasks like emptying your computer's trash. We will use Apple Script and Launch D to empty the trash on a set interval of 4 hours. Create a new file with your favorite text editor and save it as emptytrash.scpt. Save the file somewhere on your hard drive. I prefer to keep my scripts in a scripts folder in my home directory. Add the code. Tell application finder empty the trash and tell. The next step is to test the script using the terminal. Notice that there's trash in the bin. We will execute the Apple script we just created using the OSA script command. Type OSA script with the path of the Apple script as an argument. Hit return and you should see the trash empty. To automate the process, we will use launch D. Navigate to launchd.info and copy the example code and paste it in a new file. Save the file as com.wdd.emptytrash.plist. Now edit the file by changing the label to something appropriate. Then change program to program arguments because we will use an array of strings for this to work. Delete the string and add an array tag. Then add a string tag with OSA script and another string with the full path of the Apple script file. Below that, add a key tag with start interval and an integer tag with a desired interval value represented in seconds. I will empty the trash every four hours. After a quick calculation, four hours equals 14,400 seconds. Setting run at load to true will simply run the command when it's loaded. Speaking of loading, let's do that now using launch D. To load your plist file automatically upon boot, we will copy it in library launch agents. If you inspect the contents of that directory, you'll see that it may contain other plist files. So copy the plist file in that directory now. Verify that it exists by listing the files in that directory. To load the plist file now, we will use launch ctl load and the relevant plist file. The file loads and should empty your trash immediately and then every four hours or any time interval you programmed. We can inspect the list of loaded plist file by using launch ctl list. Your file should be listed here. 
This video demonstrated how to program repetitive tasks. The moment you catch yourself with repeat operations, you should pause and realize there must be a better way. Invest a little time now and improve your workflow and spend more of your valuable time conceptualizing. Till next time.